In this video, I'm going to suggest a simple exercise you can use to help better understand how your hip muscles are working when you walk. It is easy to confuse the difference between using our hip flexors, our hip abductors, or our hip extensors. This confusion can lead people to move incorrectly, often resulting in excessive impact on the joints and misalignment of the spine. We can get a better understanding of our hip muscles when we are walking uphill because there are phases where we are using our hip extensors and phases where we are using our hip flexors and it is relatively easy to see and feel when we transition from one to the other. When we walk uphill, we use extension of the rear leg hip to push the body up and forward until the forward foot reaches the flat position. Then we use flexion of the forward leg hip to lift or pull the body up until we reach the mid stance position. From mid stance, we change the standing leg hip energy from flexion to extension to push the body forward. When we walk on level ground, we use the same hip action that lifts the body uphill to lift the body forward during the swing through phase of gait. This is a hip flexion action, not a hip extension action. If you practice the exercise of walking uphill, you can feel when the hip flexion action finishes at the top of the lift, then requiring a switch to hip extension. The tension that we feel in our hip muscles when we're walking is the gluteus medius on the side of the hip, which is working against gravity to keep the body from tipping over to the side. It is not the gluteus maximus that we're feeling the tension in in the hip. To really understand the actions of the hips, we must recognize all of the coordinated movements of the core and the legs during each phase of gait. In the walking coat system, these coordinated movements are called core techniques. There are eight fundamental core techniques that we use to perform all our normal body movements when standing. Each core technique defines the rotation of the upper and lower abdominal muscles, the action of the hip joints, and the actions of the ankles and the knees. Maintaining vertical posture requires precise coordination between each of these elements, which is why they are governed by our neurologic system and largely remain unconscious. Lifting the body up when walking uphill or lifting the body forward when walking on flat ground uses the aptly named core technique of lift. You can see the full core technique video of lift in the video link provided. Lift uses flexion of the active hip, extension of the knee on the side of the active hip, and dorsiflexion of the ankle on the side of the active hip. These hip and leg actions are coordinated with torsional rotation of the abdominal core on the side of the active hip to maintain vertical posture while moving. Practice the hill walking exercise to distinguish your hip flexion from your hip extension. To fully understand all of the movements going on, check out my core technique videos of lift and push. Thanks for watching.